Hello YouTube. In a previous video, I explained how to draw an area between two graphs uh, in Excel 2011 for Mac. And in this video, I'm explaining how to calculate um, an area underneath um, a line or a graph. Now I have an example here. Um, I would like to demonstrate two methods that are easily done on Excel. Um, the first one, which is I'm going to demonstrate first using the function of the graph. Now, in most of the time you don't have the function, you have just like a random data like here, like this example here, go up, down, or whatever. Um, and then you need to calculate the function so you can calculate the definite integ integral for that function between the two values that you want the area underneath. Uh, for that, you can just click on the graph, go to chart layout, and here in the trend line, go to trend line option, choose on type, choose the type that perfectly or as close as uh, fitting your graph, and then go to option and say display equation, and here is the equation, as close or the closest equation to represent the graph that you, uh, you have. And this is the equation. Now I need to calculate the definite integral for this function, which is I calculated it as uh, y1. That's also uh, just normal integral rules, how to calculate that. And then you can calculate the value for the highest number you have, which is 12, uh, underneath the biggest uh, or the highest area. Uh, the, the highest value that you need to calculate the area to and then the lowest one which is number one and then you subscribe subtract them in order to calculate the area underneath the graph between these two values and here is the example result which is 68.52 I just did the example here quickly because there are so much equations and I just don't want to spend so much time on writing them but it's just a simple normal excel calculation for these and here is the number now let's compare the results of this method with the second one the second one is much simpler it doesn't really use any function it just depend on uh, dividing the area underneath this graph into rectangulars and then calculate that area and then combining them together or calculating the sum so what do we do here let's calculate the first area by dividing it into uh, segments equals um, now we need to calculate the average of the y which is mean this the first value plus the second value divided by 2 and that's give us the two values next to, next to each other and then divided by two give us the value in the middle and then we need to multiply that with the width let's let's assume this is the length and now we need to multiply that with the width which is y uh, the uh, x3 minus x1 and we click enter now as simple as that and then we calculate sorry we calculate that for all the segment or all the chosen data all the chosen data from value 1 till 12 except the rule is we remove the last value and now we calculate the sum function and we just add them together and 68 in comparison to 68.52 now for this method here of course the more data you have here or the more point the more segments you divide your graph to the more accurate the results will be and um, that's the only note for this method here the more segments the more accurate the result is and don't forget to delete the last um, uh, the last segment. Um, I hope that was useful. If you have any notes or corrections, please say something in the comment. 
and thanks for watching.